this is an image of or images of Sargon the Akkadian and Sargon II. One is, I believe, an ancestor of Abraham. That would be Sargon the Akkadian. And because the um, Akkadian language was the prominent language of ancient times, I would say that that is a language that Abraham may have spoken, and he very well may have come from this group of people. I'm not sure if it's a tribe. I'm not sure. Now, 1,700 years later, here we have Sargon II. The one thing that I noticed between these two images is the facial hair and the headdress. The headdress of Sargon the Akkadian is linked to one of the African saints. And his facial hair is also linked to one of the African saints. The facial hair of Sargon, too, at the bottom, you see the twist. And that, those twists are linked to an African deity. The coils, I'm not so sure about. But African mythology says that the mother, Aseseya, taught the women. This is, this is mythology taught them how to braid so that most African women know how to braid because supposedly it's in the DNA, it came from the African mother. And you can see something that looks like a braid in his headdress and around the back of his head. The twists are linked to the Yashura or to Kanam. Um, Kanam is um, a deity in that comes from Ethiopia or uh, Kushite. And the Yashura is the said to be the ancestor of some a African people. But they're both deities and they both have a certain um, philosophy. They represent a certain philosophy of a lifestyle. When we go over to Sargon II, again, there's a twist at the bottom. So that means that he's linked to one of those deities. That's my opinion. And then when we look at the coils, I don't know what they represent. I don't know what the headdress represents. But who was using him? Who was using Sargon too? Was he a friend of Jehovah or Yahweh or the Amun, whoever was ruling that time, whoever the ruling uh, a spirit was or God was at that time? Or was he linked to the Ashur or Kanam? Was Sargon II a friend of whoever the Lord God was during this particular period of time? And that will be 700 BC. I'm wondering if the facial hair gives us a clue as to whose side he was on. So, was Sargon an enemy of Jehovah or a friend? And is his facial hair linked to the deities of Sargon the Akkadian, ancestor of Abraham? One thing that I want to add to this is that Jehovah when speaking to Moses, said that he was the God of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. Did not mention the father of Abraham, the ancestors of Abraham. He specifically said Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. What does that mean? Does it mean that he was only calling them? Or does it mean that he was the creator of the universe. If you look into Sargon too, maybe the answer lies in who he was following.